Alright YouTubers, well, I want you to go to radioreference.com to your area. You want to look around because you have several, you may have several different ones. I know in my area I do. I got Belleville Butler, which uh, this one you don't want, and I'll show you why. Uh, because all we're going to, you click over here. Now this is your control frequency in red. The blue is an alternate, but you want the red ones. You can throw the blue ones in there if that's you know if you only got those two, why not? Because you'll get some extra coverage you may or may not have got. But here's why: you don't go with the first one. Look on the map. Click here. Uh, now this information here is what you're going to need. Right here in particular, where you're setting up the uh, SDR trunk, you had uh, C4 FM and LM or LSM or LMS, whatever. So that tells you right there which one of the two you need. There's only going to be two. And look at your map. Okay, here's Mansfield. So I live in Mansfield, so I'm not getting much of Mansfield. I get a butt ton of Lexington, Belleville, part of Mount Gilead, Fredertown, Apple Valley, a little bit of Mount Vernon. And depending on how good your antenna is, oh, that's great, but that's not what you want. You want your area. So now we go to this one here. This is my main control frequency, which you saw in the video, which is right there. This is the alternate. The ones that's not, it, you want the red ones, the blue ones are nice if you got it, or you got them in there, put the blue ones in there. But any of these other ones that's not in blue or red, don't even bother putting them in there. These are the only two you need. And mostly it's just going to be this one, but it doesn't hurt to have that in there. But go over here and click on uh, whatever area you're in, okay? And then again, it's going to tell you what their frequency are. Now look at the map. I'm getting all of Mansfield, Shelby, Ashland, Lexington, Belleville. I don't care about those, but uh, this is the one I want is Mansfield. And you're going to get the police, Ontario, whatever, however many departments you've gotten at in your Mansfield area, and EMS and fire, and you're going to get them regardless. But that's what you're looking for. You're looking for what your map coverage is. If you got several ones that has your county's name in or wherever the heck you live at. And this right here, site modulation. And then like I said, on the SDR trunk, you got two choices, CFF4 FM or uh, LSM or whatever it was called. But this tells you right there, CF4 FM. A lot of videos on YouTube say just go with LSM and then you get everything in there, but you don't hear nothing. Or it's an idol. And it don't do nothing. Yeah, that's because you didn't have the right one set. So that's what you're looking for. All right. So now we'll go back and uh, I'll show you the rest of it. All right, YouTube. I'm gonna show you how to set up a SDR trunk if you want to listen to uh, police scanners and EMS and fire. And unfortunately, since they all went to digital, uh, you're gonna get the EMS and fire whether you want it or not. But uh, the easiest way I found to do it, and you're going to need two of them. And let's see if I can get this to focus in. You're going to need one of these here, or you're going to need two of these here. And this is the Smart 4, I think. And it comes with two little crappy uh, telescopes. Well, it comes with like three or four different antennas if you buy the full kit. Also has the ham up if you want to listen to ham operating frequencies and stuff like that but you need two of these that's the only way it's going to work the, if you try doing it by one uh, good luck hearing anything within two hours and if you do you're only going to get about three seconds of it so and I'm sorry I have not tried to do this all by myself all right so you know you need two of those dongles it come with uh, two crappy little telescoping antennas and you got a couple other little shorter ones and stuff like that but the best way to go is with a disc cone uh, I use the ICOM AH7000 disc cone antenna and you only need to have it hooked to one dongle uh, even though you gotta have two of them in there you only need one this program is smart enough to know that it it'll pick the best one and uh, you can see there on the screen, I got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But the one you're mostly focusing on is that middle one there. It's the bright red. 
that's your most strongest signal and whatever for your uh, P25 phase one or phase two this program will do either or unlike unit trunker it only did uh, phase one this is going to do either or so what you need to do to set it up is I'm not going to go on and show you how to put your drivers in for your SDR dongle uh, for whatever brand you got I showed you the one that I had and you can get their ZDAG or ZDANG or however you want to pronounce it and that's pretty straightforward and after you do that that's all you need to do with that and then you install this program uh, well you don't actually install it it runs from a bat file but uh, here's where a lot of things that I see that people tend to forget when they're given tutorials and it took me a uh, couple hours to figure this one out because they were throwing up the wrong information so after you get everything set up go to your playlist okay now I already got one set in here and when you get it you won't have nothing there so when you go to make your own obviously you're going to come up over to this little tab here at the very top you're going to click on it and you got AM, DMR, LTR, LTRM, blah, blah, blah. But you want uh, P25 phase 1. Okay. So let's click on that. And then it's going to tell you down here in the corner that right here. You're decoding phase 1 or P25 phase 2 control channel. Now you got to have your control channel. Okay. Uh, either little ass backwards but this is the main control channel that has to be the one in red and I'll show you that control channel and if they do have alternates then you can throw them in there just by adding add and then of course save it now preferred tuner you don't need to do anything with that I mean you can pick whichever one but the uh, program is smart enough to know which one's getting the best received so you don't even worry about that so then you go up here and then you put uh, whatever system, site, name, it doesn't matter. Alias, you want to put an alias. Most likely you're only going to have one. Because for your area, they generally share all the frequencies since everything's digital now. So and maybe your area is different. There is a few that do have specifically only four police. But in my area, unfortunately, I get uh, EMS, fire, and everything else. But this is it here and I'll show you what you're looking for because also right here on your modulation you got C4 FM and LSM okay these two are very important if you want this thing to work some videos will show you you know they're clicking LSM and then if you're tried running this before and you couldn't get it to work it just says an idle when you're over here in status which you can't see really now it just sit there and say idle it may say contact and switch back to idle but I'll show you what you're looking for on radio reference to tell you which one it is. So even if you don't know and you do got a control frequency from a friend of a friend of an uncle said, hey, here's all your police scanners, click on one of the two. If you click on LMS and in your status it just says idle and you don't hear nothing after a few seconds, uh, stop the, you know, come over here, hit stop. Uh, of course, it, you know, it's not running right now. And then just change it to C4 FM. But I'll show you on radio reference on what you're looking for to tell you. It'll tell you one of the two. It's, it's going to only be one of the two. Default, no more than three. Well, you can put more if you want if you got a really beefy system. But I wouldn't. But this is just generic. You can name this whatever you want. System, site, name, alias. I mean, don't go through and, you know, go up here like the radio reference pay that subscription fee for a premium member where you can import everything uh, why? you don't want to listen to everything you either want you, you want the police calls so that's all you need to do there we'll go back here for a second but uh, go back to your channels okay so here's what it's going to tell you you can see I got uh, that frequency and part of that other one which is just these two right here these are the only ones you got to worry about now if you look up for where you live at and it says there's only one there's only one in red there's no blue if it's not red or blue those other frequencies that they have in there don't even bother putting them in there you're not going to need it you only need the one this in here is my primary channel or main channel that they transmit but I also noticed another one in blue so I went ahead and added it 
but so far everything has been coming over on this frequency here on your main one in red but if they do show it in blue or they got multiple ones in red you know all you got to do is just click add add them in there each time you add one click your save button it'll pop up every time you want to save it just save it and then just repeat the process now after you're done with that you can go and close that part out and you go to your tuner okay now this one since it's already been running just for the demonstration the last one it went on before I shut it down was on this frequency here but this is where you're going to put your main frequency or the main one that you want and after that it's going to scan the bands for you and this will populate all by itself but if you go back to your tuner or uh, to the playlist then here's your main frequency. If this is the only one you got, is your main one. It this is the one everything's going to come through on, and then the radio or the software is going to decipher it on everything else after that, so you can hear what they're saying. So if that makes any sense. But uh, your tuner, when you first put and install all this, it'll pop up there with your only one dongle. You'll click on whichever one on there, but you have two of them, so you need to add uh, one and then add a new one. And then, like on my one here, you can see here, I made the top one, which is the main control channel, the main, and I just left this one new. I could have put alternate, but it doesn't matter. The program figures it out on its own. And there's a few other things you can do if you want, but we'll go up here, go to user preference. Uh, you can go to duplicate calls. I leave everything. I got all of them checked output tones I leave all of them checked record I don't give a crap about that this one here is your other major one when you first install this even before you put your dongles uh, SDR dongle in whichever one you got uh, go ahead and uh, you know it'll say check for a library update I think it says install but click on that if there's an update go ahead and update let it go through and do its thing then you're good channel event now you don't need to worry about that unless you want to change the date time format it's pretty self-explanatory talk group radio d uh leave everything default directory default default all that just leave it all default and uh once you get that done there and you got this set and in your playlist where you're originally going to have your main control frequency and the alternate that's it and got these two here set that's all you're going to need and then just hit play and we'll see if anything's out there and close this out and you don't need to have it on tuner unless you want you can go to now playing and it's going to say control active call and you can listen here for a second